Welcome back guys. <clears throat> I had a request to uh, make a video uh, showing how to install your brother printer within Manjaro. So I'm going to use the Fluxbox um, to show you because I don't have the printer configured yet. So I'm going to show you how to configure your printer within Manjaro uh, using the brother printer. Now I have a brother printer, it's model MFC J870DW. I'm going to use that as an example. The process should be the same. Uh, just You would just use your drivers for your particular model. So the first thing that I always do when I, uh, when I uh, do a Manjaro install, and I've got it laid out here and I'll put this into the show notes for you. But the first thing I do, just to make sure that I'm starting on the right foot, I make sure that Cups and Manjaro printer is installed. So I'm going to run that in terminal. And that's always my first step. And you'll install that. And it's probably going to say reinstall. Uh, yeah, both of them were, were already installed. But that's always a good first step just to be on the safe side. The next thing I want to do is start the enable and start the CUPS service. Because your printer will not work unless you do this. So you're going to copy this command in. Just press enter and it'll do its thing and then you're going to start the service and then you'll see some messages okay so the service is started now we're going to install the system config printer application which is what you see here this is the printer config system config printer. I'm going to go through the process even though it's already installed. So we'll paste that in and we will install that. Now it says reinstall because I had already installed it. So now you're going to search within Yawert for your brother printer model. So what you'll do is you'll type Yawert and then uh, brother and then the f you can put the first few letters of your model. And it'll come back with all of the potential candidates for you. Mine is the MFC dash J eight seventy DW which is right here number forty five so I'm going to select in this particular case I'm gonna select forty five and I'm gonna download and install it So it's going to go through the installation process and it shouldn't take too long. And then once that's installed, now we're going to install the scanner module. So that would be right here, BR scan 4. and that will install the same way I don't edit anything I just continue on and let it do the install now there's a little note here and it says um, for a network installation run the following as a root mine is a network configuration so basically you're gonna put everything you see here you're going to put your model in and your IP address. So 
as you can see I've already got it set up for mine it's sudo brsane config4 and then where it says name equals brother model and then my model see how I have that configured and then a space and then the IP address so I'm gonna copy that and paste that in okay now I'm gonna press enter and everything is configured but as you can see I still have no printers here so I'm going to close this out and again I will post those notes for you so I'm gonna click on unlock you have to enter your root password then I'm gonna click on add network printer now it's as you can see because I entered the IP address it's already located it but the process that works the best rather than select this model here that would be the easy way it doesn't always work properly I have found that I need to do this manually to to get it to connect and work properly so I'm going to use the Internet Printing Protocol, IPP. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click up in the top where it says Enter Device URI. I'm going to click in IPP. And I'm going to enter my IP address in this, in this manner. Colon, forward slash, forward slash. That's extremely important and then the IP address okay so a period between except none at the end just the way I have it here then I'm gonna cl click forward when I click forward it's gonna go through and it's going to connect to the printer and come back and it's also gonna look for the drivers that I just installed and so it's going to get everything going and configured properly. So we'll click forward. Now it's searching for the printer and it's searching for drivers. It found the drivers. All I'm going to do is I'm going to leave printer name and description alone. But on location, I'm just it says you need to enter a human readable location. So you can put anything you want and what I put is since my printer is upstairs I just put upstairs I'm gonna click apply and then it gives me the option to print a test page I'm gonna print a test page test page submitted I'm gonna click OK here as you can see my printer now shows on in the print settings application so the only uh, final piece of the puzzle is to grab that uh, test print sheet that I just did. So I'm going to pause the video so I can retrieve that and I'll show that to you. I'll be right back guys. Okay guys I'm back and I did retrieve the uh, test page that was printed. I'll show that to you. Now um, you, as you can see printer test page and if you take a look let's see you can see all of the configuration option uh, there's the brother printer name the location upstairs created at 11.02 this morning so everything works fine no problems whatsoever and that is the way that you set up your brother printer uh, and it works pretty much in in any the only thing you'll substitute if you're if you're using Arch um, and Turgos, PacBang, um, anything other than Manjaro, then you won't install the Manjaro file that I showed you before. So that's the only change you would make. Um, if I go back to my printer 
information. You see this Manjaro printer? That's the only file you won't install. Everything else, cups, all of this is all relevant to any Arch installation. So it's as easy as that. So that's the best way that I have found to install your brother printer in an Arch install. So guys, that is it for this uh, particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you uh, got something out of it. And uh, if it helps you get your printer going, then it was worth the effort. So thanks for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.